So if feeling your best and having amazing energy throughout the day is important to you, then this video is for you. Today, myself and Kristen, AKA my chauffeur, are gonna give you <laughs> our best tips to staying hydrated, what helps us out, what you can do to ensure that you're hydrated, and then also I'm going to share some of my experience that I worked as a paramedic and a firefighter for 15 years, and I'm gonna give you some tools for your toolbox to see if you're possibly dehydrated, how to know if that could be a possibility for you, and what to do if you may find someone that's dehydrated and you want to prevent them from hurting themselves or falling, etc. So in addition to talking about hydration today, we are actually on our way to go check out a new property to see where our home is. Looks like we may have some more walls up, we may have the roof trusses up, we're about to find out, and then also we're gonna go somewhere fun we've never been before. It's called Celebration Park, and supposedly it's this like super nice, legit, what would you say? It's like a food truck area. Like tons of different food trucks, it's supposedly for foodies, which. <laughs> okay, you know. so like a food truck park, so we want to check that out tonight. So uh, that's where we're going. Hydration is life, baby. Hydration is life, and apparently we are mostly water, so this video is important. Mm -hmm. Oh my gosh! Looks like they're starting to put the roof up over there. Wow. You excited? She's not excited. Not at that all. That face is not excited. <laughs> what you think, baby? Man, this is crazy. They right? are moving fast. They're even starting to do some of the interior walls. I like. Oh, crazy fast. By the way, since the theme of the video is hydration, this is my friend and I bring this with me everywhere. I have never been excellent at drinking water and I know that now. So what I do, here's one tip for you. If you're someone that finds that you're having a hard time thinking about hydrating, thinking about drinking water, get yourself a cool container. Bring it along with you. Bring it to work. Know how many times you filled it up. I have learned that if I have water next to me, I'll drink it. What would you say? I was gonna say, I completely forgot about that, but that was the biggest game changer for me because right? I used to get dehydrated all the time. Totally. And now I bring a water bottle literally everywhere. Right. Life and changer. It's so important, especially it's like now we're living in Florida. It's always hot. It's humid. You're prone to dehydration. My friends, get yourself a nice water bottle. You'll get thank yourself. me for it. Let's go check this out. Yeah. It's starting to look like a house, would you say? It really is. Yeah, we got some walls going up. Does it fit your expectations? So this far. This is massive. This is so cool. Yeah. Wow. Looking pretty cool. So apparently Kristen is working out because she is in the gym. I'm in the gym. <laughs> you know what's so cool is you can really see like the size of things now. So this will be our gym that Mike is designing and I will work out in. Okay. And then we have our pool bath slash gym bath over here. Yep. And you can really see like where hallways are. It's fun. Super fun. Hey, you stealing my hydration? It's like doing weights, drinking water all at the same time. So one of the things I learned after I had my large intestine removed due to Crohn's disease is that your large intestine, your colon, absorbs about 10% of the water that you drink. And so I am much more prone to dehydration than the average person. So this is why this topic is super important to me, but I've also noticed just what a huge difference it makes in my life when I stay hydrated. And I have one of my favorite ways to really stay hydrated is through electrolytes. All right, so here's one of my favorite ways to hydrate, this element right here. It has made such an impact in my life. I probably discovered this maybe about a year ago or so. And whenever I feel my energy kind of like slowing down in the afternoon, a little bit of a slump, instead of having like a coffee or matcha, I'll have one of these. Oh my gosh, what a difference. It seems so simple, but it's really amazing. And I think it tastes really good too, but I also like salt. So super easy to just blend up with water. You don't really need one of these. You could totally use a fork, but I like it because we have it, you know? It's uh so, so fancy. Exactly. And you want to do it with cold water. It always tastes better with ice. 
Yep. Cheers. It's like a mocktail of some sort. A mocktail. It just makes your health and your life better. A mocktail with hydration qualities. Enjoy. Delicious. All right, so I want to share a tip with you that I have found extremely helpful. And it's basically a way for you to assess either in yourself or someone else if they could potentially be dehydrated. For those of you that don't know, I worked as a firefighter and paramedic for 15 years. So I was able to learn a lot. And I also saw firsthandedly how much dehydration plays a role in negative health consequences. And what I mean by that, and as an, as an example, elderly, as people age, they become more prone to dehydration. So as an example, a lot of calls that I went to were elderly falls. So the question is, did they fall due to tripping? Did they fall due to losing their balance? Or did they fall due to dehydration? And that is a very common problem. So here is a very easy way to see if you may be dehydrated. If you don't have enough water to go around in your system, things just aren't going to work as well. And I saw that on calls, whether it was chest pain, shortness of breath, falls. A lot of these things also had to do with dehydration or at least played a role in making it worse. But here we go. This is what you want to do. Find yourself somewhere where you can lay down, put your feet up, put your head down. Okay, so you could use pillows. I've had to do this to people on the street, on calls, but basically what I'm doing is I'm putting my feet up, so I'm allowing the blood and the fluid to come back to my brain. Hey, Shadi! <laughs> Shadow. Shadi makes everything better. But if you lay down like this and you start feeling significantly better within, I'd say, 30 seconds to a minute, it's very possible that you may be dehydrated. Now, obviously, the best way to see if you're dehydrated is to have a, a blood pressure cuff. But a lot of times, people aren't going to have one or you're in a situation where you don't have that available to you, okay? So here's another thing too. If you ever feel abnormally tired, more tired than you normally are, that's one of the reasons why I would go to the couch, um, the couch dehydration ass assessment, okay? And then also, if you're ever sitting up or lying down and you feel better and you stand up and all of a sudden you start feeling like lightheaded or weak, that is also another sign that you might be dehydrated. So I also just wanna share an example of how this can be life-saving to someone. We were at a farmer's market a couple years ago and we were in California at the time. It was very, very hot out. And at the time I was working as a firefighter, but I was off duty. I saw and heard a commotion and I saw basically someone, were they slumped over on the ground? Yeah, at the time. I think they were on the ground. I think they were, it was an elderly person on the ground in the sun. Now, with my experience being a paramedic, I immediately looked at that person and knew more than likely they're dehydrated. But more than anything, it's super hot out, we need to remove them from the environment. So if you ever witness this, if you ever see someone sitting on the floor that might be dehydrated, number one, you wanna remove them from the heat, right? So what I did is I assisted them to, it was basically in one of the tents to where they got some shade. And then what I do is I gently um, allow them to lay down. I help them, I grab like a shirt or something to put under their head. And then I put their feet up, someone called 911, and I waited with them until the ambulance got there. Now here's the deal, if that person would have got up on their own, if let's say their family member just, it's like, hey pops, just get up, let's get to the car. That is exactly what you don't want to do because when you're dehydrated and you stand up, something like that, that's when people fall all the time. So that's another tip. You don't have to be a doctor. You don't have to be a paramedic to save lives. You just have to know this knowledge. And that's definitely what we're trying to do here is give you some knowledge that you can apply in your life. So keep that one in your toolbox too. That's an important one. That is a great tool. Thanks, babe. Babe, you know what's fun? Huh? What's fun is so this home we're building, it's a custom home. So all of this started off just like on paper, like this is what just we want. Dream. It was just a dream. It was just a little memory in our brains. And to see it 
finally like physically manifesting is super super exciting so looking forward to sharing this with you as it continues to unfold and uh now we're gonna go ahead to uh that celebration, celebration park. park and um check that out been See, wanting to go there for since before we moved here yes is <laughs> it possible to eat healthy at a uh what was it called again like a food truck park a food truck park oh, sure it is i'm gonna go ahead and guess it is yeah okay we're about to find out check out this cool spot this is really fun Shit. All right, we found it. Priorities. We got to get a drink. Yeah, let's get a drink. Figure out where we're at. <laughs> Quick tip: alcohol is not good for hydration. Drink electrolytes. But it's great for the soul. <laughs> okay, so we found a great spot. This is Island Seafood. It all looks excellent. And what's important to me, obviously, is to be able to eat stuff that fits our dietary requirements. One of those things is gluten free. And obviously, even though I didn't see anything that says gluten-free, I'm going to ask the chef. So come on in here. I just met Oren. Oren, he is the chef here, and he said he's going to be able to help us out. So Oren, our big thing is we want to do gluten-free. So can you do, we want to do an island seafood bowl? And what do you want, babe? Fish tacos. Fish tacos. And those are definitely gluten-free. Okay. Okay. I have a seafood bowl that's uh, jasmine rice, black bean, rice, tomato, avocado, shrimp, and fish. All perfect. Food. Perfect. We will do that, sir. All right. Thank you very much. So right here we got an island seafood bowl. We got jasmine rice, black bean, lettuce, tomato, avocado, lemons, of course, jerk fish, a chipotle crema. Right here we got a grill of fish taco, all gluten free, coleslaw. Uh, avocado and chipotle cream, black beans and rice. Sir, that looks excellent. Thank yeah, you enjoy. so much. You're the man. You're the right. Thank you so much. Ready? I am so hungry. I got you your uh, Casamigos and soda. And for the uninitiated, Casamigos is tequila and it's delicious. There you go. All right, so that food was amazing. This place is amazing. This place is amazing. I can't believe we haven't been here before. I, know. I think this is the 80th time I've said that. <laughs> I never would have thought that you could get delicious, healthy food from a food truck park. Park. Celebration. But it can be done. And also, I just want to inspire and let everyone know that especially if you are someone that's dealing with food allergies or eats a very specific way and you go somewhere and you don't see it on the menu do yourself a favor and just ask because more than likely they're going to be able to work with you by the way Kristen and I met in restaurants like we have both worked in restaurants and loved the restaurant industry totally. it's made a huge impact on our life so just remember that if you don't see it just ask just ask just ask in a nice way we have yet to, we have been eating gluten free for. Since 10 years? 2013. I was gonna say almost 10 years. And we have yet to find anywhere that can't right. accommodate us when we ask nice. Right, totally. Gluten free, uh, vegan, vegetarian, <laughs> nut free, whatever it is, just ask. Yep. All right, everybody. Peace.